this guy is busy uh, taking a dump on the floor. Here I've got this Nissan Leaf. I've taken the motor out. It looks like it had a front impact over in this area, which kind of jacked with the steering, getting some of the components out. Um, but I got enough out inside if anybody needs any extra 2015 Nissan Leaf parts. I've got it, like uh, these doors and uh, these seats, got them. So this is the ATV. What I did was I cut it here and uh, where is it? Uh, oh, uh, here. And then I welded these cross beams to connect it so that I could add this. Um, some people might be familiar. This is uh, a Nissan Leaf inverter. Uh, the motor is down here. This is the the gearbox with the differential in it. Uh, Nissan Leafs are front wheel drive, so usually it's, I think, this way? Could be this way. Anyway, the front axle, the front wheels, those power the front wheels, but I, I've done it, turned it sideways. Uh, I've already taken uh, this axle, shortened it quite a bit so that it can go into here, which I I'm gonna mount around here-ish, and that goes into the rear wheels. So that if I could turn them. I'm not strong enough, I guess. Uh, there we go. Uh, okay, little tease, All right. Uh, electrical components so far, I have the Thunderstruck control unit from Dilithium. Um, this is the current accelerator. I have a little oh, thank you. A handheld one somewhere. Uh, yeah. I don't know, something like this. I don't know if this will work or not. I think it's a Hall effect. I don't really know. I don't really want to have a motorcycle one, but I've, I've seen a couple Hall effects for motorcycles. We'll see. Anyway, here's a better look at it. So, I think it's a scooter. A scooter throttle. Anyway, uh, these are the batteries. Um, they're Ford batteries, but I can't figure out what vehicle they come from. They look really similar to like a Mach E pack. A little smaller. Oh, am I already getting some warping from the cold maybe? Anyway. Ah, it's a little cold. So I've got a uh, four in series. Each one has 24 cells, so that's 96. So I'm hoping I can use the Nissan Leaf battery module management system and charger, we'll see. Um, uh, the frame is still really dirty. It's fine. I'll clean it up once it's all done. So uh, with the motor, I've done a really kind of, we'll call it lazy, lazy job. I've done a mounting point here. I'm gonna do a second one here for this bolt. Um, let's see. One right uh, there, and I believe back there somewhere. So the mounter, the motor seems to be on there pretty good. Um, the axle inside of this is is pretty thin. Uh, I am assuming I'll snap it at some point. I think I need to get a, a longer whatever this is called, 
for this. Um, I've got everything working. Uh, the tires are spin. I just, right now, uh, working on charging the batteries. Um, this guy is busy uh, taking a dump on the floor. Thank you. It's fresh. pretty cold up here. Uh, so the reason that I want to build this uh, is to put a plow on the front, uh, maybe salt and sand distribution on the back, and also to you know move some heavier things around the property. Uh, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the DC to DC converter. Could be wrong. Um, these are some other miscellaneous parts from the ATV. This is the the motor that was in the ATV, it's a 350 Honda TRX 87. Uh, I, if I can get this motor running, I think I can turn it into a mill for some logs for next summer. We'll see about that. Uh, this is what one of the axles for the original Nissan Leaf looked like. Uh, so what I did, I think on this side, I, I cut it here and then probably here and then took one of the original axles from the ATV, cut the tip, and then welded it together to make that little tiny guy. Um, yeah. And I did wanna show you guys one of the reasons that we need a plow. This. Pretty dark. Yeah, maybe during the day I'll get a picture. Can you see that? Kind of. Kind of. So this this driveway is awful to get up and down. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons. This is my tester battery. It has these connections. Um, 18, I think it's 9 on top, 9 on the bottom, pins. Uh, I was trying to figure out, I couldn't find a pin layout. Uh, so what I've done, um, let's see here, I've been working on these. It's basically I just put a, let's see, an example. Put a female side on one, and then he shrinked. Oh, here we go. So like, uh, like this. So it's. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the metal female side in there. And then I plugged a bunch of them in. Uh, lathered it with hot glue, and then. Attempted to find the pen layouts. Uh, this is me starting to hook up the Nissan Leaf BMS. Um, excuse the sniffs. Uh, I've got an OBD2 reader, uh, the power supply, and an Arduino so I can send CAN bus messages. I got the BMS to start talking at least, and now. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the charging because I, I don't think the charger is in that Lee Leaf that we got. When we got it, uh, the only thing that was missing was the battery and apparently the BMS. So, uh, there's that. Um, here's some chickens. Some chickens. Hero. Hero. Ladies, I'll bring you something later, okay? I'll bring you something later. I'll bring you 
something later. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that's pretty much all I've got so far. Um, yeah, so if anybody has a pinout for this, that would be helpful, uh, even though I'm almost done. Um, <coughs> if anybody knows where to get a uh, Nissan Leaf charger, uh, Gen 2 preferable, I think. It's 2015, so whatever that is. Uh, or another way to charge these battery modules. I don't need it to be super fast. Um, I was thinking about... I don't really want to disconnect them and charge them individually every time, but you know, if I have to, I have to. Um, yeah, so... Uh, that's what we got going on. What are you doing? You want to come say hello? No, you're just going to creep through? That's fine. Alright, Till next time, see you guys.